Hey folks, welcome back to Investream. I'm Pankaj. And today we're going to talk about why do people get into angel investing? Coming up next. So what motivates people to become angel investors? In a previous episode, we talked about what's the difference between venture capital and angel investing. Well, today I want to talk about why do people actually become angel investors? What motivates them to become angel investors? I want to know what you guys think and why did you become an angel investor or why are you thinking about becoming an angel investor? So I'll give you my background and why I became an angel investor. Well, it happened by accident actually. Um, I spent a lot of time doing a lot of community building work and uh, during the course of that, I got to meet a lot of uh, great founders. I had shut my startup down uh, recently. And in that process, I started mentoring a bunch of startups. And that kind of led to me saying, hey, you know what? These companies are pretty cool. Yeah, sure, I'll invest a small amount of money. And, um, you know, it started there. And over time, um, I've been able to invest in a lot more companies, both uh, individually as well as through Angela syndicates. But, um, you know, it's not my day job. That's not what I do for a living. And uh, a lot of folks I found are angel investors by chance, not because they sought out and said, hey, I want to start doing this um, on a regular basis. Um, so, number one, the most common thing that I've seen, and perhaps this is a little bit more common in places like Silicon Valley, New York, um, and a few other places. So, hey, you're working at a company, a tech company, uh, or could be anywhere actually, and a friend decides that they're going to uh, leave, quit their job, and start working on a startup. They have a great idea. You know, they've been asking you for help and suggestions, and you've been giving them ideas and blah, 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 and you say, well, you know what? Sure, I'll put a little bit of money in, right? And a little bit of money is all relative. Um, you know, I've seen angel investors invest as little as $1,000 and, you know, upwards of a million dollars. So, you know, it's all relative. Uh, I believe that there's no such thing as a small check, but, you know, founders uh, could disagree. Another reason why people get into angel investing is um, it's a attractive asset class, right? So sophisticated investors have been spending a lot of time investing in real estate, stocks, bonds, a whole bunch of other things. But many of them have not gotten into investing in tech. And at least over the last 10 to uh, 12 years, we've seen startups really, really blow up and do amazing things. So it's an asset class that has attracted a lot of attention. And because of relationships that people have, um, they started seeing deals outside of their traditional spaces like Wall Street um, stocks and bonds and real estate. They started seeing you know, private companies. And um, as awareness and information has become more prevalent, it's also become easier for people to kind of look at some of these companies and say, oh, right, well, you know, I understand this or I could help in some sort of way. So let me look at that. Number three of one of the most common reasons why I've seen people become angel investors is because they've done very well for themselves, either in tech or some other business or as a, in a job, uh, and they really want to build up their local ecosystem, and they want to support their local ecosystem. And one of the ways that you support a local entrepreneurial ecosystem is to help entrepreneurs, sometimes with mentorship, sometimes with money, sometimes with both. And so I've seen a lot of people say, all right, you know what, we need to develop our local ecosystem. Being able to help founders find access to capital is a really great way to help that ecosystem start moving. And number four, a little facetious, uh, but not completely, is uh, a lot of people, it's great cocktail party or dinner party conversation, right? Oh yeah, I just invested in this company. So a lot of people get into it because they have excess capital. They are not finding the types of yields that they're used to finding in other markets. So they're going into riskier assets like startups and putting money to work in that space. And that has, in some cases, worked very well for people and in other cases, not so well. So another thing that it helps them do is expand beyond what their primary um, income 
uh, sources, right? So if, for example, somebody's an actor or an actress, uh, and they start angel investing directly, right? So they're actually looking at the deals, they're evaluating the deals, they're meeting with the founders, and they're putting money to work. It helps them kind of expand out into something that's different and new, and helps them build new skill sets as well. So those are a couple of reasons why I think people get into angel investing. I'd love to hear why you got into angel investing, so please tell me in the comment section below. And also tell me, how's it going? What are some of the things that you're doing to improve your access to deal flow? What are some of the challenges that you've seen in angel investing? If you haven't yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to make sure that notifications are turned on so you don't miss a single episode of Investory. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you again real soon.